So console log is not the only way to debug a JavaScript function. So let's say we have a function here we want to debug it. So what you can do is right click anywhere and inspect element. You will see a source tab here. If you will click on that, you will see your files will be in the left side. If you click on a file, you will see your code will be in this tab. So here, if you want to put a breakpoint, click any line number. You will see one breakpoint is applied. Now if I refresh it, your execution will be stopped here. And you can utilize these options to operate further. So if you see this is resume, this is step over, this is step into inner function, this is step out from current function, this is next step. That means this line will be executed, it will go to next step. This is to remove your all breakpoints. So if you click on this one, you will see our execution goes to the next step. Now the RDS value is calculated, right? That you can see here as well. So now you can also achieve the same thing by using another way. So you can put a debugger here and then re execute. If you'll see, the execution will come and stop here. So if you'll see the RES is executed, but this is stopped here. Then you can utilize the same options to toggle. This is how you can utilize browser's developer's tool to debug your code.